the honest truth is I've I haven't always wanted to inspire people but there was um, there was a year in university when I started listening to Eric Thomas's stuff um, I don't know how I got you know into it at the the beginning but Somehow I got into it and I started reaching this turning point where I was tired of being average, you know, and that really started in high school for me. Um, It was grade 11, um, 2014, obviously, and, uh, you know, like a couple of my friends used to be, I also used to be in the A class, but then a couple of my friends used to do really well and... I was just like the C student, but I, whenever there was awards being given out, like, you know, during school and we'd all have the assembly kind of thing, and people would get awards, I'd honestly think to myself, good for them, but then I'd I'd also think, why not me? Why am I not getting an award? Why have I never received an award like that? I'm good enough. At least I thought so, you know, I believe that. And um, that year I just focused on being good enough. And there was a a top 10, you know, they have, you know, the ranking of people in the grade. And I was always like giving, you know, as Eric put, Eric Thomas would say I was always giving 60% you know I was a C student but I didn't try that hard you know and I was like maybe like 20 something in the grade and I was like what would happen if I just gave for a full term I just really balls to the wall I really went at it and then I tried that I didn't say I shut my mouth I didn't tell anyone that I was going to do that, and I did it, and literally, I got 11th um, in the grade, and that, you know, that's not a a huge deal, but it was for me, you know, because I proved to myself that I can play with the big boys, that I'm good enough, you know, that one place, just that one place out of the top 10 is like, you clearly can do it if you, you know, want to. You have it within you. So, with stuff like that, I, I once I started replicating that type of effort, even in varsity, I noticed that people um, showed a certain level of respect for you, a certain level of, I don't want to say admiration, but they they respected you and they wanted to be around you because they felt like they could learn something or they could get something from you that would improve their lives. And that's exactly how I felt when I used to watch Eric Thomas's videos. And I watched them day in, day out. To the point where I think I've watched most of his video. Like, there's, there's very few, if any, you can introduce of Eric Thomas's videos that I, I don't know. So, and stuff like that, I... People, people have told me that I inspire them, you know? Not, not a whole bunch of people, but at the same time, a good amount of people have told me that I'm an inspiration to them. Others say um, that uh, I help them eat clean and inspire them to eat clean and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, there are times where I'm just like, how do I inspire you? You know, I'm just doing what I do. Like, I'm just eating my meals. I'm just working out because I love to work out. So I'm just, I'm just doing me. How is that inspiring you? So, with that being said, 
lot of people might see me post something and think, why is he always posting? He just wants to be looked at by others or wants attention or whatever. And to a certain extent, I do want attention, but not for the reasons I think that I want it for. Um, you know, I know that there are people who look at me and see and, and just think, what the fuck? But there are also other people who look at me and think, wow, that, that guy makes me want to do more. And that's that's the gift that I got from other you know, bodybuilders who I watched over the years. And that's the gift I got from Eric Thomas mostly. Um, that, that thing that someone gives you, you're like, you're inspiring. You're making me want to do and be more. I don't know if you guys understand. I don't know if people understand how deep that is. When someone makes you want to be more, you know. And so I want to do that for other people, you know, because I've felt and experienced how that can change my life and want to help other people change their lives positively, of course. So I'm doing what I'm doing right now the show and honestly it's been hard as fuck (laughs) it's been hard but something deep inside tells me that it's gonna be worth it the hours all combined not you know once all at once but like the hours of cardio the hours of working out I love working out though, you can't, that's one part of the the experience that's not necessarily a chore, I just love weightlifting, but it's it's all, you know, a package deal, the food, the the amount of food, the type of food, Um, you know, the closer I get to, to stage time, I have to stay away, my mom cooks his guacanela in the house, um, which... I'm not sure what that is in English, but it's like a it's it's like a carb. It's very high in carbs. It feels great though when you have it. It tastes great as well. Um, or steamed bread, which is rejected, or some other macaroni dish you might make here, and then I can't have it because you know it's not what I should be eating at the moment, and it's gonna you know hurt me and get me further away from my goal. So, there's a lot of wear and tear that comes from staying on a diet, saying no to certain foods, which I'm used to on the, in the off season. But in the, during the prep, it's that time stamp. Because you stay like that for weeks on end. And weeks on end. And there, there comes a time, honestly. to the point and I guess I'm glad that I spoke it out so much that if I was to pull out people would honestly be like didn't you say you're gonna compete like you know hold me accountable so I'm gonna compete I'm gonna give it my best Um, I I feel like I am ready Um, well you know on my way to being ready and I'm ahead of where I'm supposed to be at this time um, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that that's the kind of prep I wanted to have I'd rather be ahead than you know behind and then have to try and force things in the last few weeks of prep um, so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it 